been a while since I have filmed myself so this feels a bit strange I suppose I have to get back into it and used to this clean that up there all right hi hello welcome back um it has been a while since I've filmed anything um been been busy with a bunch of different projects and I've had a solid few weeks of doing nothing besides illustration for a while now um, and today I feel like doing something completely different so I have seen floating around on the YouTubes um, seen a couple of people making things called book nooks and I am obsessed it is just the cutest little thing for me so I thought as a nice distraction from work and everything else let me try to make a book nook now my first reaction is to want to make something fantastical um, so uh, a magical library somewhere or I've seen so many people do little hobbit holes and they are just adorable but instead of doing something that I have seen other people do I thought let me try to make a book nook that's a little different and I I have a thing for puns so I'm going to be making a book nook book nook <laughs> um, yeah probably not all that original but basically I thought that I would make a little book nook of a nice cozy little book nook that I would want to go and sit in and if I was a little borrower so borrower 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 Yes, that sounds much, much better. Borrower sounds like a horror movie. Um, yeah, so I have this idea in my head. Uh, it's been floating around for quite a few weeks now. And then I saw this image, which I will put in later um, in Pinterest a few days ago. Oh, um, I'm sorry about the camera shaking. My table is a little wonky. Um, anyway, so I saw it a few days ago and it's just concreted my desire to make this little book nook um, so I'm going to use it as an inspiration for um, what I want my little book nook to look like um, it's very similar to the idea that I had in my head um, just just another sort of visualization of it so let me I've got some paper out here and I'm first going to sketch the different layers out and make sure that what I have in my head translates to what will work in a 3D physical space. And yeah, let me get going with that. Okay, so this is the, the general idea. I want to have a little, oh, let me try not to smash the table. Um, I want to have a little couch, which I, I've got some modeling clay and I'm going to try to use that in combination with maybe some, a tin foil base, just to get a nice comfy looking couch. Um, and then, so it's, yeah, <laughs> let me just try and put all my thoughts together. Okay, so what I want is a nice like tiny like cozy little space in miniature um, so look I'm gonna have lots of bookshelves um, to try and create that effect of, of just like an enclosed space and then just fill it up with tiny little things like a ooh, little carpet ooh. and maybe a little lamp and a table um, 
and yeah I'm going to try to create a curved wall in the back here it's yeah, my, my ideas are not really translating well in this um, sketch but I have a very good idea of what I'm trying to create so we will see along the way okay so first off I'm going to use I've got a bunch of cardboard pieces here because I'm incapable of throwing away any possibly useful cardboard so I'm going to use my scrap cardboard and try to create the outside walls I'm not going to connect them fully up just yet because I might be able to, I might need to get into the little nooks and crannies um, for painting later on so I'm going to just create the, the generalized base and then we will move on from there okay so I'm going to attempt to use these cardboard scraps that I have lying around to create the base of the book nook. Um, I'm thinking of trying to create an all it all in one piece as much as possible so that we have less glue to use and just that it fits better. Um, if I think it'll be more sturdy if it is one piece in comparison to a bunch of different pieces stuck together. So um, let me get a ruler here quickly, a smaller ruler, <sighs> alright, so let me get going, I don't want it to be massively big, I want it to be quite small actually, um, I think something like this. <laughs> way better than expected um, we have a nice little all-in-one base for our little book nook fits together like that so now I'll be able to work on all the little innards while it all being in one contained unit I am <laughs> pleased that that actually worked out uh, now I suppose I need to get to work on oh right first off I want to try and create a curved wall in the back here um, just to give the illusion of uh, a continuing space um, like it's not just an enclosed little unit in the bookshelf I want to give the um, what's the word impression that the little library goes on maybe behind the other books so sort of like an infinity wall sort of thing so I am going to try and create a little insert in here that curves the wall let me get that going so by some miracle I can only assume to be some sort of magic this is, actually seems to be working um, I've got my little curved wall in the back here, which I will connect later once we once I start with the painting. I've left a little space in the back here for adding in some fairy lights later so that we can create some ambiance. And yeah, this I'm I'm really amazed that this seems to be working so far. Next up, I'm going to first measure out the places where I will be putting the bookshelves. I think I want to put one along this wall here, and then a tiny one over here, and then our couch will be placed in somewhere around here, and the bookshelf as well. Ah, not the bookshelf, the, the little table with the lamp, and... This back wall, I want to, it to look as if it is a continuous wall of books. So I'm going to figure out how I will achieve that. And yeah.
this is what we have so far. I've made the two little bookshelves. Let me move that out of the way. And then further in, oh my, it's falling over. Further in, I've got a little table and then a nice little couch to sit on. I had made another one yesterday. This is not the next day. Um, but I wasn't happy with the scale of it. So I've made another one this morning. And it's looking a little bit more in line with the size of the bookshelves. And over here, I have a massive pile of miniature books, which I will be painting later. I think I'm going to get everything done now. Actually, let me turn this around and I'll... I had decided, instead of completing one of the little items that will be going into the book nook at a time, I'm first going to just make up all of them, and then I'll paint them all afterwards. And I think the, the workflow will work a little bit better that way. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the modeling clay out. I first <laughs> need to figure out how to use it because it is a very long time since I have used anything with modeling clay. So, and there's, there's no indication on this little packet how long it takes to dry or anything like that. So, I will be doing some googling first. I'm going to use the modeling clay to create a few smaller items to go into the little book nook. And I'm going to use it to cover the little couch and make it look nice and comfy. That's what the, what this little frame is that I've made for. And yeah, I don't have, because it is a, it's a new thing for me, I don't have any clay tools or anything like that. But fortunately, I live with my sister, and my sister is a baker, so I have borrowed a bunch of little fondant working tools, which, as far as I can see, they're basically the same thing. So, oh, and it's just, it looks so cute, doesn't it? All these little pastel colours. Um, so I think if I need to make anything, you know, th this is an experiment. We will we will see if I need to make any indents or anything like that or patterns. I can use those. The most thing I'm most excited about is the little rolly pin with the little spaces on the side, so I can get everything nice and even. All right, I suppose I should get going with that. It is very cold today they are predicting snow later in the day and um the latest update is that the snowstorm is about an hour away from me so and there are gale force winds outside and yeah it is not really a day i want to be working with bare fingers in clay but we are getting this done yeah enough talking and let me get this get started with us <laughs>
come to paint. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I've painted my mountain of little books. I had to go back and create some more after a while um, because I thought the bookshelves looked a little bit empty. Um, then I've got some floor, wooden floorboards, which I will be putting along the bottom side. Um, these are just coffee stirring sticks, which I cut in half and then um, painted or stained with a watercolor wash. And let me sit down. These are my little furniture pieces. Um, we have a, a wonky little table, a couch, which I am very chuffed with for the first thing I've ever modeled, you know, after high school or whatever. I am, I'm very pleased with how this has turned out. Then we have a kitschy little lamp. Um, it's not focusing. Oh well. Um, and we have the two bookshelves. Which I also, I've said, I've, I had planned on using acrylic paint for all of the colors, but it wasn't quite working out as I wanted, and I am very used to watercolor paint, obviously, so I decided to just use watercolor instead, and I'm, I'm very pleased with how this has turned out. Um, I used, um, um, for the overall color, color palette, I am going for a very comfy, cozy feeling. I want it to be almost kitschy in that level of coziness. So I've gone for nice warm colors, um, and then I distress them using darker brown tones of some watercolor washes. And that's about it. It has taken me an incredible amount of time to get all of this done. I honestly, I underestimated how long it takes to make miniatures. But we are this far in, and I'm pleased with all the little components coming together. Next up, I'm going to just measure out my backing, my background there. Um, then I'm going to take that piece of card out and paint a background in. I'm thinking of adding a fireplace in there. We will see how things go. 
Um, so yeah, I'm going to paint that and then I'm going to lay the floorboards down. And once that is done, I think we are almost ready for assembly. Um, there is one thing that I'm going to add. I mentioned earlier that I want to add some fairy lights in the background and um, maybe along the side here. Um, just, be, just behind the lamp to mimic that. And I will need to figure out how to do that. I've got some cheap fairy lights that I got at Pip Home for Cheap Cheap. And I think they will work quite well. It's a nice little battery pack, so I don't need to worry about cords or anything like that. And okay, yeah, I suppose I need to get onto the background. I have readied all of my characters and it is now time to assemble. Okay, so I've got these little cheap fairy lights and I'm going to attempt to add them to the little book nook in a way that will make it feel atmospheric. Um, I have an idea for how I will add them in a way where it will potentially make it seem as if there are little lights behind that fireplace in the corner there. I'm not convinced it's actually going to work out, but I am going to try. I am going to bring one of the little lights out through a little hole I made in this backing wall so that it will appear just behind the lampshade and hopefully it will give the impression that the light is coming from there. Um, I'm really nervous about this and I suppose the only thing to do is to just go ahead and do it. I really don't want to have to repaint these backing boards but what can I do? Let me get going.
Okay, so I think I have worked out a way to add the lights, which will sort of <laughs> sort of achieve the look that I'm going for. Um, I'm realizing now how janky this whole thing is, and anyway, it's the first time I've done this, right? So I have added this little section in the back here. Well, not added. I created this from the beginning in the back here, where I can. And the little fairy light thing, I have made a little box at the bottom there so that I can switch it on and off. Um, I can just try to do this with one hand. There we go. So this is what it looks like from the inside. And I added a really bad looking little fireplace in the background. Fire, fire flames in the background there just to add a little bit of... I don't know, an attempt at reality. Um, let me try it just there. And then I poked a little hole through so that two of the little fairy lights can pop through just behind the lamp. I, I have glued the lamp into place, so that's working well. Next up, I'm going to add the rest of the furniture. No one's, no one's going to see that fireplace. Only I will know that it's back there, but I thought... I thought I will go I will attempt a stab at realism. finished and I'm so pleased with how it's turned out that I don't even care that it is wonky as all heck I'm so proud of it it's yeah especially for especially considering it's the first time that I have ever made any sort of miniature or enclosed unit thing you know prop piece I you know I don't know what to call them um it's just I mean, look how wonky that is. I accidentally tightened these sides to <laughs> the, the top side too much while it was drying, so it's looking <laughs> it's at an angle. Little trapezoidal. Anyway, I'm done. I've, it. This has taken way longer than I had planned to film this video, but it's. I, I didn't really know how long these things take. No, now I do. And I feel like this whole this whole thing, this whole project has been such a learning experience that I don't mind that it took a week and a half, almost, to to create this book nook. Um, yeah, I'm I'm just pleased with it, and I feel I feel that I have learned a lot uh, with working with air modeling clay, air modeling, air drying modeling clay, and. All the little books and the painting and what types of paints I prefer working with and I used so much hot glue and I can see it a lot 
So I think for, for any sort of next project that I work on, I need to see, I need to find um, a better sort of adhesive, not solely relying on hot glue. And yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot that I can take from this project to put into the next one. Um, I think that is all I wanted to say. Um, let me have a think. Yeah, no, that's, that's pretty much, I wanted to create a book nook that felt like a nice cozy place that I could curl up with a book and a blanket and a crackling fire and maybe some music, and ambient light and that that's what I've, pretty much what I've done. Um, I love the colours that, that I ended up going with, um, I'm not sure if I said it before but one of my housemates said that a lot of it was looking very um, fantastic Mr. Fox-ish. Um, so, <laughs> I, would, I absolutely love it. It's one of my favourite movies. Um, well, anything Wes Anderson, obviously. And, yeah, to, for, for somebody to say that, I just... I took that and ran with it, basically, for the rest of it, for all the colours and things. And I'm glad that I did. Um, that's, that's about it. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Um, this is probably one hella long video and I am not really looking forward to editing it, but I suppose that is the next step in this. Um, I am now going to take the rest of the, the evening off. It is, it's about four o'clock now and I'm going to go make some soup because there is a snowstorm coming up from tomorrow but i think mostly from the day afterwards and yeah i wish that i could trick myself in <laughs> to my little book nook and gets nice and cozy but I, I suppose i can just create a real life version um thank you again so much for joining me and i will see you in